was one of 176 former federal prosecutors who signed a letter yesterday condemning the violent rhetoric against Bragg. It's very good to have you on the show again. So uh, what do you make of uh, the conversation we're having about all the political ramifications, all the security ramifications of a p potential indictment? Uh, do they have any potential of having a role in the decision to indict? Well, good morning, Mika. Uh, they should not have a role in D.A. Bragg's ultimate decision. And, you know, I think it's important to separate one's views about the wisdom of bringing this particular prosecution uh, from the separate issue of the violent rhetoric against D.A. Bragg. And, you know, when I look at the list of the signatories of that letter that I joined, it includes former prosecutors who are in diverse professions now, who have diverse political views, and who I think would have disagreement among them about this particular prosecution. But they know that the threat of brute force against a public servant and against the rule of law has to be condemned. And, mm -hmm. you know, I think they also know, many of them from personal experience, as I do, that Threats against prosecutors are more common than you would think, and they're scary when they come even from someone with less reach than Donald Trump and are enormously burdensome on law enforcement to make sure that the system can continue and that people can do their jobs. And so they really have to be cut off, you know, going down that mm -hmm. road uh, as soon as possible. So it was important to speak out. Well, you know, Tali makes a great point. You look at federal judges who were threatened, who were killed, whose, whose family members are shot at the door. You look at what happens with prosecutors and the threats that they're always under. The fact that we have a former president of the United States that, that is, 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 is causing these threats. Even just over in, the weekend. Into the judicial system, who's causing these threats to happen to a DA. This, this, this sends, as Tali said, this sends a chill through all judges through all prosecutors, through all DAs, through all state attorneys, uh, and through those offices, whether they're Republicans or Democrats, conservatives, liberals, this is really dangerous and playing with fire. And we know the danger is real. Yeah. January 6th. Reverend Al, here's an exchange you had on your show, Politics Nation, with one of former President Trump's lawyers about Trump's violent imagery in his social media posts. Does he have an obligation to denounce the rhetoric and what has happened to Donald, to, well, to Alvin Bragg. We had a prayer rally for Alvin Bragg oh, this morning. This man and his family sent, could be under what serious someone threat. someone sent to Alvin Bragg has nothing to do with Donald How Trump. How do you know that? Because Donald Trump would have nothing to do with that. Donald happening. Trump wrote death and destruction no, no, when, if I'm that, indicted. However, he advised, announced that he was right, going to be right. indicted Tuesday. He well, that is, came from leaks. That came from leaks. He, he posed was leaks. with a bat. No, he didn't. No, no, no. So let me explain wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. Just a minute. He, there was a picture with a bat mm -hmm. that someone had put together right, that someone. he reposted. Did okay. he not? So, how well, the witness answered the question. The witness is about to answer the question. Did he repost? However, ill advised that post was, reposting that. He reposted Does an article. Does that mean that you repost he did repost it? Well, apparently he reposted, but I also know he took it down when he realized what was in that photo. Oh, he was I reposting see. an article, but he did take so it down. So, I stabbed you in the back, but I took the knife out. Before the knife did any damage. Problem, oh Reverend Al. That's a problem. You can't unring the bell, as judges will say once evidence gets before a jury. You can't unring that bell. You can't you can't pull it back. Everybody has that image. And Donald Trump knows that. They've got the image of the baseball bat. That's one of the reasons why the New York Post ran it uh, yesterday. Uh, but 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 you're right. Thank you so much. He tries to limit and, and they, they call Trump deranged. The New York Post Murdoch's New York Post calls Trump deranged. They, they, you know, Joe Takapina, he's telling you, oh, he, he put the post up, then he took it down, uh, sort of glossing over the fact that you didn't let him gloss over, that Donald Trump talked about death and destruction if he got indicted. And, and, and the death threats have started pouring in. The death threats started pouring in after he talked about death and destruction, after he uh, uh, had reposted this with the bat uh, next to the DA's head. And this is dangerous. This is even going beyond whether you think the case is strong or not. 
which again, we don't know what the DA may have. I mean, don't forget that this that same DA got uh, Weiselberg. You don't know what maybe out of that investigation goes into this. We just don't know. We do know Donald Trump has uh, instigated some threats or has initiated some threats that may have instigated the threats that are going at the DA, including this envelope that says specifically, Alvin, I'm going to kill you. And uh, Tally, let me ask you, and for people around the country that don't know, you ran against Alvin Bragg uh, in the uh, primaries, mm -hmm. and you're standing up defending his life. I mean, because if you had won, this could have been you. This could have been some of those that are assigning this. So aside from people's mm -hmm. opinion of the case, talk about how if we don't stand up to this kind of behavior, mm -hmm that young people, old people, whoever, that would want to pursue being prosecutors may say, I better not do that because if I get a hot case, it's now fair mm -hmm. game that mm -hmm. people could threaten my life and my family. Well, look, that's exactly right. You know, D.A. Bragg and I were opponents in that primary, and we disagreed about lots of things. That's the democratic process. Uh, and we can continue to talk about disagreements, but this is something else entirely. And I do worry that this is just the first move, that there could be threats mm. next to the judge and the jury in this case if this prosecution is brought, that Donald Trump could go on to threaten people in the legal system in Georgia and in the Department of Justice if those cases are brought. And I think it's part of why we have to say now that this is not our country. Right. And so I'm worried about D.A. Bragg's safety now in this instance. He's trying to do his job and this is outrageous. But I'm worried more generally, as you are, about what it says about the rule of law and all of the people who participate in making our country work by going to work every day in these jobs that are hard and that involve the kind of personal sacrifice that we're seeing now.